What is happening guys? Today I'm going to show you a method to be able to keep your Mimic alive through entire fights in the DLC. And even this blast will last up to Radon as well. You'll be able to keep your Mimic alive through the final fight. Any fight you can think of, your Mimic will not die. Uh, so to do this, we're going to use what's called the America's Blessing. So Blessing of, or blessing America, I'm sorry. There's going to be a few of these found in the World of Shadow. So the first one we're going to grab is right as we enter Gravesite Plains, the very beginning of the DLC, we're going to ride right down to the Church of Consolation. And I'll show you where that first one is. Now you can only hold one of these at a time. Remember that? Uh, so your Mimic will only be able to use this, you know, one at a time or during one time during a battle. But this will allow your Mimic to have full health again and your Mimic will use this automatically, as long as they don't nerf this, uh, it'll use it before he dies. I've tested this method of uh, like three times on Rodan, and it's worked every time. Uh, the, I've, got, I've got it so where the Mimic would almost die, and then every time the Mimic uses the Blessing of America to bring his health back. So this does work guaranteed every time, and, unless they patch this. If they patch this, then I'm sorry about your luck. <laughs> uh, but you can just ride back behind the church here, there's going to be a cave off to the left here. You're going to see a dude with a torch. You're going to ride right back here. And Blessing America. So that's going to be your first Blessing America. Once you have that, you can just teleport on out of there. And I'll bring you to the next location. So the second Blessing America is even easier to find. So we're going to go to... If you don't know how to get down there, you're going to take this path right here at the Pillar Path Cross... And you're going to go down and around, and you're going to go up to the side right here on the sh by the sh Elder's Shovel. And you're going to teleport yourself up to behind the Fort of Reprimand. So we're going to go to that grace. And once here, we're going to run off to the right side of the stairs. And we're just going to jump off here. You won't die. Just jump on a jumper off right there. And you're going to run right backwards behind this place. And right here, I've already picked it up on this character, but you will find another Blessing America. So, in this location, right here. Now, if you do want a third Blessing America, you can also go to the Hinterlands, right here, through here. And there's going to be a Tree Sentinel that comes down, run, running around, right down here. Uh, there's going to be two of them. You, you can kill the Tree Sentinel for another Blessing America. Now, the reason you really don't have to do that, though, is because you can only carry one at a time. Now, I don't recommend using these ever unless you're in a pinch. But for your Mimic, all you have to do is put them onto your bar down here, as well as anything else you'd like your Mimic to use, and your Mimic will automatically use it during a fight. So, like I said, I would not recommend using these yourself unless you're, like, at, like, close to killing Radon or killing a boss that you're struggling with and you only have a little bit of health left, no flask left. Fine, use it, you know, do what you gotta do. But keep this on your so on your, on your bar down here for your Mimic, so that way whenever you summon your Mimic, your Mimic will automatically use this whenever it's about to die. So your Mimic will last through any fight. Any fight at all, you can put it through and it will last. It's pretty awesome. So hope that helped you guys. If it did, give this video a like. We'll see you guys next time.